All right, basically, I have grass that's controlled dynamically by wind. Mm, how do I explain it? Yeah, it's dynamically controlled by wind, and the wind is randomized, and so is the weather. So, if I go into my param, update it. Here's the highest setting. And then I can change the directions. Of the wind. And then it's dynamically changed. If I go in here. And I just go like this. I can say initiate 10 seconds. And it's also going to de-initiate. So let me make it 15. I have it to where it lurps all the way to 1. So the highest, the highest value, which is the random value. And then it will lurp from that value down to the newest value when the time is ready. Wait, so I have to set this to 0.1. So you're going to see it randomly. It picks 0.14. Is not that, not that, um, powerful. So in the next 15 seconds, he'll pick another value. It picked 1.16, which is more powerful. So the sound picks up, and the grass moves in a random direction. The grass looks kind of unrealistic right now. But But uh, anyways, then I can add the same thing to my range. So I'll say 15. And the rain will randomly pick the intensity and the volume of the rain is tied to that intensity. Also the fog density that's created by the rain I see it is reset because I have it on a timeline. It's confusing, but I'll do a tutorial later. But I have it on the timeline to stop the rain over 10 seconds. And I toggled it for 10, 4 or 15 seconds. So there wasn't enough time, so it just looks unrealistic. But yeah, that's basically it. Then I can update these values. So say you have bigger grass, I can change this divisor. It stretches the vertices so it looks super unrealistic in this case, but yeah. It depends on the type of grass that you have and what your game is gonna look like, but yeah.